Hey, this is Matt once again. I figured why not talk about a while ago, a long while ago I had talked about the Alien films. Why not talk about the Predator films again? Because I love Predator 1 and 2, and I know Predators is coming up pretty soon this summer. About a month or so. About a month or two. So, the original Predator, what more can you say? John McTiernan directing... You have Arnold Schwarzenegger, you got Carl Weathers, you got uh, Bill Duke, Jesse Ventura. You just have a hell of a cast. You know, Sunny Landum at SunnyLandum.com. <laughs> His little fucking laugh. I mean, the plot is as simple as you can get, and really. Badass mercenaries, they did a mission to rescue some guys. They go in, they kick ass, they find out they've been set up! It's all bullshit! All of it! The cabinet, the ministers, you says you do your dirty work. Why us? It's an asset. An expendable asset. And they use you to get the job done. Got it? I don't do this kind of work. No, he, no, at first he says, my men are not expendable. And I don't do this kind of work. I mean, I've seen Predator so many times, I've pretty much committed the whole movie to memory. You know, from the badass, you know, the spaceship going to Earth, piece of it breaking off, awesome score by Alan Silvestri, one of the best action scores of all time. Now that's weird. Do you call this an action movie? I want to ask people on there. Predator. Do you call... I mean, obviously it's sci-fi. Do you call it more of an action movie or more of a horror movie? I want to ask people. Like, if you put in a list, if you had to pick one, would you put in the action category or would you put in the horror category? Just curious. Anyway. Baz Mercenaries. You know, what? See, uh... See, I just got you pushing too many pencils. You never knew when to quit. Who's this fucking Todd business? I'll forget about my Todd. I mean, I, I could commit this fucking movie and the dialogue. Like, <laughs> I've seen it. So it's one of those films that has immense rewatchability. Um, it has testosterone oozing through its veins. Um, it has a well done score by Alan Silvestri has a great cast that you believe could kick ass, you believe could take names. They don't even they don't have to say much. You don't need to know their backgrounds, uh, what they did as a kid, did they have pets, did their pets die, did they have a goldfish that left out in the sun too long? You don't need that shit. You can look at them I buy them as a badass. Oh, he was in the CIA and he trained for five months no no, no you don't need that shit. You look at Sonny Landham, you look at Bill Duke and you look at Arnold, you know they're badass. And you can tell they're badass, I mean, right from the get-go, you know, they have that big action scene where they're taking names, they're kicking ass, you know, Arnold lifts the fucking truck, rolls it into the fucking people, blow up, blow up the people in the fucking helicopter, um, Jesse Ventura's got old painless out of the bag, <laughs> Yes, I know. Really, a min you know, have a minigun. Really, that cartridge, that ammo would be gone in like 10 seconds. But it's a movie. Fuck it. Now, of course, I, I can't forget that scene where they find the dead bodies. You know, Sunny Landon, they find the dead bodies. Jim Hopper. Whatever happened to Hopper? He was skinned alive! Apple, he was getting alive. <laughs> Arnold coming in, knock knock, stick around. You know, I just I love this film to death. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Just everything about it. I don't find anything wrong. The locations, the jungles, the scenery look authentic, and they really shot it out. Was it Mexico? I think it was in Mexico. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent positive, but as a good DVD, I haven't watched the special features in a long time. And I do remember that John Glove Van Damme at first was going to be the the guy in the suit. I think that was when the previously when the monster looked different and they said fuck this. But Van Damme, I heard that he was complaining and they, they fired him. I think he wanted to quit because around the same time I think he had blood sport. 
he was able to do blood sports. Like, well, either I'm in a special effect or I can star in the movie. So I think he got himself fired somehow, some way, some form. But that's cool because they got a better design by Stan Winston. And, of course, played by the great, late Kevin Peter Hall, who is missed. And it's cool. I mean, it feels like a wall-to-wall -wall action movie, but yet, you know, it takes a while. You don't see the Predator in full gear. You just see cloaked in invisibility, or you see little s snippets of when it forms, see from its point of view, with the great, you know, infrared, you know, the great way they did that. Anytime, anytime, you know. You know, from Mac, you know, Bill Duke. I mean, I just, I'm going all over the place because I just, I can't remember it. Every single scene of that movie is just, I'm sorry, I'm just gushing for joy. You said you want to suck the movie's dick? Yes, this is one of those movies I would suck his dick because it's one of my favorites. I don't think there's anything wrong with the movie. Great A cast, action, powerhouse, villain. And, you know, they get off one by one in different ways. Venturi gets his fucking shot right through. Uh, Carl West gets his arm blown off. Bill Duke gets the back of his... You see the back of his head explode in the camera. So each death is different. Sonny Landon you don't see, which is strange. I used to up the suspense of where's the Predator. And, of course... Go run! Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! And that, I always love that part. You know, get shot, and of course, even little, little stuff like that, callbacks, where earlier the, you find out, you know, Arnold, of course, is the stronger guy, overpowers Carl Weathers' arms. And it goes back because Carl Weathers gets shot, arm blown off. Arnold gets shot. Fucking spec. So I dust that off. But Arnold doesn't dust off. He's hurt and stuff, but it doesn't cut his arm off. Which is weird, because sometimes it seems like the laser blaster cannon can shoot through metal. But not Arnold's Austrian oats. But I believe it. It's a fucking Arnold. Nothing could cut through Arnold. Fuck no. But it's great, though. It, I love the third act where, you know, he's back to basics, getting the fucking bow and arrow, and they're both getting ready, and Arnold goes to Tarzan yell, oh! And Predator looks and goes, okay, motherfucker, gonna slice you like butter. I love the way, you know, Arnold has, you know, the bow and arrows with explosives and back and forth. And then Arnold actually gets his ass kicked. This is one of those few times where Arnold. You know Arnold's going to win, but it's like, holy shit, he's not fucking holding his own. He's getting bitch slapped by the Predator. But he uses his head. Come here, I'm right here, kill me! I'm here, kill me! Do it now! And yes, I know I can't skip one ugly motherfucker. And it hits him with that branch. Bad idea. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I go all over the place in this review, but, you know, there's not a bad casting choice. You, know, you have Shane Black, the writer, a writer, you know, they cast him because, hey, he can do, you know, help be writes on the set, so why not just cast him? Hey, she's got a big pussy. Hey, she's got a big pussy. Why did you say that twice? Well, I did it. Because, you know, the echo. Oh, Jesse Ventura. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual guy, you know, Tyrannosaurus. Just like me. When you stick this up, you sore ass, Blaine. I love Predator to bits. The action, the score, the characters, the actors, testosterone filled. The action scenes work well. You have it's rated R, you know, for radar for a purpose. And it has a great pace, has an excellent pace, and that never seems like there's that dull of a moment. And it works. This is like one of those staples of how you make an action movie. Like there's few action movies you should study in order to realize how to make a good action movie. Predator is one of them. And I don't find any thoughts 
uh, any fault on her, I should say, not fault. Boo. I have no fault. Fault. I have no fault. To me, this film is perfect. I mean, people like, oh, bullshit, but I really don't find anything wrong with it. A lot of other movies you nitpick. I really don't find much to nitpick in this movie. It's just... I think it's a classic action movie. It's a... It's up there. It's one of my... You know, it's one of the tops films. And uh, it's a classic. What more can I say? So it's not really much a review, just sort of a jumble of thoughts thrown at the webcam. But next time, I'm going to talk about Predator 2, which I do think is an underrated sequel. And why do I think that? You'll find out next time. So thanks for watching, and take care.